Okay, so this is part two of the long document basics and uh, I'm moving over to styles. So in order for the, um, in order for InDesign to be able to create a table of contents, you have to have styles assigned. I've already got the paragraph styles panel um, out and you can see that I have created styles for example, my title. Um, I'm also going to use this title style for my table of content header. Um, I have a subtitle style and I'm going to base my, my table of content page style on the subtitle style. Um, the other thing that I have that's extremely important is a section style. Um, and those section styles are how I'm going to have the table of content generator go find each section and determine what page it's on. So for example, my section, section one is on my page two. So the table of content generator is going to use this particular style and, um, and be able to assign the page number to that section. So a little confusing until you see it in action. So the thing that I need to do is create the page style for my table of contents. And like I said, I'm going to, um, I'm going to uh, base this on my subtitle. So I'm actually going to take my subtitle and I'm dragging it to the make a new uh, style icon at the bottom of this panel. And then I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to say that this is my table of content pages um, or page, uh, page style. Okay. Um, what this needs in addition to just uh, the ca character styles is a tab because what it's going to do is, like I said, it's going to take that um, number that the page is um, sitting on and it's going to uh, assign whatever section to it is to the, the page. Uh, again, a little confusing until you see it at work. So what I have to do is um, the way this is set up right now um, and how the table of content generator will work, I would get whatever the name of my section was and then it would put the page number right after that, um, after a tab. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a right justified tab and I'm going to put that where I want the number to sit. And I'm going to, and it's hard to see, but I have a right justified tab and I am putting it almost at the edge of my page. The next thing that I'm going to do is instead of having a big white expanse between my section name and my page number for that section, I'm going to put what's called a, a leader. And that is usually a series of dots. And I don't want my dots too crowded. So I'm going to put a dot or a period and then a space. So I have a dot and a space. And when that table of content page style is applied, then between my section name and the page it's on, I'll have a series of dots. Okay, I'm gonna say okay. And of course nothing happens because we're not using this yet. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go back to my pages um, uh, panel and I have page one, page two, page three and page four. What I'm going to need is a page for my table of contents. So I'm gonna go back up to page one and I'm gonna come back down to my um, bottom of my pages panel and I'm going to click on create new page. And I see that it's got the A master style applied, which is fine. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go generate that table of contents. And the way I'm going to do that is in edit. Okay. 
And the way I'm going to do that is in layout, table of contents. And this is where I have to tell the table of content generator how, what I'm going to use. So the table of content style, um, I'm going to just say, I'm going to use the default. The title, um, I can, it just is called contents. I'm going to change that to table of contents. The style that I want to use is the um, table of content header. So that's what I'm going to use for the, the title. Um, and then I'm going to include the paragraph styles section header or sections. And then the entry style is going to be my table of content page style. And so table of contents, table of content title. I'm using the paragraph style. Oops, I forgot to add that. So sections add. And then the sections is going to be styled with my table of content page style. Okay. Now, if I click OK, I will have this loaded cursor. And if I click and drag from margin to margin, it has nicely, um, nicely generated my table of content, mm -hmm. except my table of content style is incorrect. So let's go back to the layout table of contents, and I'm going to use the table of content title, um, the style. That's probably something I had left over, but that's not bad because you can see that if you do um, end up using the wrong style for something, you can just go choose the correct style. Okay, so that should do that. And then I'm going to say, uh, okay. And it updated my table of contents. So yes, that is the style that I wanted to use. And I'm gonna say, okay. And now I have, I have my uh, first page, I have my table of contents, um, and my section one is on page three, section two is on page four, and section five is, uh, or section three is on page five. Section one is page three, two is on four, three is on five. Okay. And that, um, that wraps up the table of contents.